How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about three very very simple ways to improve your Android device performance and this really should work on pretty much any Android device you have that's even halfway current. You'll be able to do all three of these little processes and it'll be a nice trick to boost the performance of your device. That being said, let's go check this out. The first process we're going to use to speed up performance here is in developer options. So if you go into your device, and this works pretty much on any Android device, and you go to about phone or about tablet, and you find your build number, and you tap on it about seven times, it'll say no need, you're already a developer. You go back one, and you'll have developer options. So now we can go into developer options, and we can adjust some things in here. And the thing that I want to show you how to adjust is the animation scale. So most phones are set to a 1x. Now if you want to speed up your device and how it handles so you, it's not wasting a lot of processing power rendering the animations you can come in here and you can either turn them off or just even turning them to 0.5x will speed up those animations and windows and things will open quicker and faster and it won't have as much of an animation so if you really are requiring speed and performance and that's what you're looking for you're definitely going to want to do that in here in settings and turn on developer options to get those animations really smooth and flying so very simple there's three windows there you can touch windows transitions and uh, animator so there you go definitely the next thing that I you got to do on any device, especially something from a diff specific carrier and not just um, from the OEM, is you want to go in here again, it's is in settings, and you're going to want to get rid of or disable, I should say, certain applications. So if you go into the application manager, and this varies, it might be called application manager, it might be called just apps and settings, and then you go in here and you manage all the applications that are on your device. Now, officially and normally, it starts out with just the applications that um, you've installed but a lot of times you can come up here somewhere and hit more and then do show system applications as well and then you have a full list of all of them and what you do in here is you come in here and this is a T-Mobile phone so T-Mobile puts a lot of garbage on here and let's say you want to get rid of some of the T-Mobile junk so it has T-Mobile uh, name IDs for example you see I've already disabled it but you come in here T-Mobile TV I don't want T-Mobile TV running on my device so I'm going to disable it and what this does is this uninstalls the updates so it frees up space there and it also goes ahead and disables the app from running so now it's not taking up background processes it's not taking up RAM so there's a lot of benefits of disabling the applications that you're not using on the device um, you can disable T-Mobile again now you do have to be a little bit leery about things running in the background um, and disabling applications that you may actually want but it's very nice to come through here. Another one that I'll probably disable is uh, Lookout, if I can find it. Yeah, right there, Lookout. So we'll uh, go ahead and disable that one as well. And, you know, you can just keep going through and get rid of all the applications running in the background to free up that processing power. And I recommend doing this on any newer device, older device even, just to just to free up your space. Your space isn't really going to get changed. The app will technically still be there. It just can't use any of the processing power of your device. So that's definitely an important thing to do on your device to get a better performance. The last thing that I like to do is I like to come in here. And again, this is in settings because settings is the place to do and the place to be. So you come down in here and you go to storage. Um, so most of you guys should have a storage location on the device. And it'll give you a lot of different options here. It calculates these different uses and where your space is being used up. Now, I specifically bring this up for devices with small storage space to begin with. There's devices out there with 8 gigs or less on the device. And by the time you have system, you have like 5. So I don't know if you can tell this, but right now my cache or cached data is 1 gigs. So if you already have a device <laughs> that has only 5 gigs on it, you're going to fill that up really, really fast. And what you'll find is if you fill it up too much and then your cache gets too full, you're going to ha have space on the device to even run correctly. It's going to glitch. It's going to have all kinds of problems because it's trying to write to this cache partition and it really can't because there's no space left. So it's a good thing to come in here and click on this and delete all of your cache. Shabam. 
that will delete the cache files and then what happens is those cache files get repopulated next time you run an app it'll start building that cache files back up again so it's a good thing to kind of keep an eye on and to wipe out every so often and yeah look at that it is, there's zero in my cache right now so that just freed me up a gig of extra space now you want to leave about 300 to 500 megabytes for cache on your device at all times it just won't function without it um, but definitely super safe to delete it and if you have small memories on your device and not a lot it's a good thing to free up maybe you can get apps to install correctly then after that so this is really critical for devices with small storage so there you go guys those are going to be my three tips here uh, that are very easy all all android devices should have these same options somewhere in the settings it might look a little different for you but this i showed you here on the note 5 i had my s7 and my nexus 6p so you've had some var variants here and it does vary a little bit but it's all in settings and definitely some easy quick three tips that you can do to speed up the performance on your android device hope you guys like it stay tuned for more videos very soon i'll be doing a giveaway very soon as well which should be pretty fun and got all kinds of other videos planned so subscribe give me a thumbs up follow me on facebook twitter and we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out